we have to be careful to distinguish between fact and fiction. The secret societies have been with us for a long time. He created this society to uh, bring about revolutionary change. A group of enlightened masters guiding humanity to its highest reaches. Does the Illuminati still exist? <laughs> The church held a huge copyright on free thought. During the Age of Enlightenment, this started to come apart. It minimizes the role of the church in society. The concept itself was more about having a new order of the ages. There's an undertone in all this about absolute power he could have over people who do not even realize. Conspiracies just refuse to die. Perfection comes after the world is destroyed in a divine revolution. People go crazy, Satan in their head. They don't really realize to what degree their lives are monitored. People grab hold of something to substantiate their belief systems. Age of enlightenment, new science, rational thought. Illumination is kind of like the, the light bulb going off. Are you? Do you mind if I ask? The supreme enlightened, the leader of the Illuminati. I thought Obama was a leader. I am the leader. I brought the Illuminati up through the 20th century to the height of their power. I had presidents and premiers eating out of my hand. I am the one. Decline is the result of my own. All we need is for me to get back on my feet. What what did he tell you? Nothing. I merely await certain technologies. Then I will be restored. By the way, Lucius De Beer says he's cold. I know. 18 degrees Celsius, to be exact. Don't you think that's a little chilly? I keep his metabolism low so he will last. He is a good advisor, a one-man think tank, so to speak. He said he's the leader of the Illuminati. A harmless fantasy. He also thinks I'm going to restore his body. You aren't? The technology has been around for decades, but he does not need to know that. Where is he? I will remember these small injustices. When I am revived, I will remember. Obama has no intention of reviving you. He must. He has been commanded. He intends to rule the order himself. No. No. I will not allow it. Young Dim, use the computer to my left. Find a way to shut me down. Okay. Shut down in uh, 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 What a shame. He was a terrible man. National Security Agency intercetta e spia i cittadini nel mondo per scopi politici. La CIA possiede un arsenale di computer hacking mettendo a rischio la vita privata di Washington. 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 Washington.
Gentile. They will destroy New York to make way for the new order. The new order for a new age. And the new race will temporarily rule over that age. For me, what? Symbols that expose their agenda are hidden in plain sight as the new age is ushered in. It all started with the collapse of two towers. The Twin Towers were one of the greatest marvels of the modern age, a symbolic achievement of the human race. Not for its stature and height, but because it carried the image of the Elohim as two strands of DNA. The strands would have to come down to make way for a third to stand in its place, a third monument a third temple, a temple showing what the human race has become, hybrids. The two temples would have to be destroyed first, they would have to come down, they would have to be desecrated, then the rest of the city would follow, piece by piece it would be dismantled as the human body succumbed to the new race, the trident race. I pray they will be comforted by a power greater than any of us, spoken through the ages in Psalm 23. In Psalm 23, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts in Psalm 23. The victims were in airplanes or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads, friends and neighbors. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil, despicable acts of terror. The pictures of airplanes flying into buildings, fires burning, huge, huge structures collapsing, so on, had filled us with disbelief, terrible sadness unyielding anger. The two towers had to be brought down. A third tower had to go up. A third strand of DNA. One showing the unity of the two races, humanity and the Benai Elohim both created by the Elohim, but only one in his image, that is the human being. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat. Chaos. They are trying to destroy the image. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. America was targeted for attack because we're the brightest beacon for freedom and opportunity in the world, and no one will keep that light from shining. Today our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature. The search is underway for those who are behind these evil acts. I've directed the full resources of our intelligence and law enforcement community to find those responsible and to bring them to justice. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbor them. Symbol after symbol after symbol. From the Statue of Liberty crumbling to the stock market crashing to the mosque located next to skyscrapers that is being bombed. And even the Brooklyn Bridge, all landmarks that are depicted in a head goat too. The short film also depicts other more cryptic references. Some of them already fulfilled, others are not yet. 
What is hidden shall be revealed. Newt Gingrich, former Speaker of the House, recently had this to say, eliminating any doubt that we are aggressively ruled by nothing less than a global Luciferian elite. And now they're faced with a very real prospect of Donald Trump becoming the leader of the party, and it absolutely drives them crazy. Uh, they just cannot Why? imagine sharing. Well, because he's an outsider. He's not them. He's not part of the club. He's uncontrollable. Uh, you know, he hasn't been through the initiation rites. He didn't belong to the secret society. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order. The New World Order is no longer hiding in the shadows. They are utilizing their total domination of civilization to bring your morality into a new dark age. Whether it's the United Nations David Rockefeller Lucius Trust rollout of demoralization, courtesy of Alice Bailey's 10-point plan, the purpose of which is to change Christian tradition or to redeem the nations of Christian tradition. Number one, take God and prayer out of the education system. Number two, reduce parental authority over the children. Number three, destroy the Judeo-Christian family structure. Number four, cause society to reevaluate sexual freedom and reduce the population by making abortion legal. Number five, make divorce easy and legal. Free people from the concept of marriage for life. Number six, promote homosexuality as an alternative lifestyle. Number seven, corrupt and defile the imagination by debasing art. Number eight, use media to brainwash the population. Number nine, promote a new age movement to overshadow the Christian faith. Number ten, have governments make all of the previous points laws and have the church endorse these changes. These points were stated over 70 years ago and have metamorphosized into the civilization we know now in 2016. And it's all around you. For instance, the ongoing force-feeding of Illuminati symbolism through entertainment, as Hollywood's romance with occultism has finally percolated to the surface, offering performances by Illuminati slaves, akin to Keisha, for example, adorned with satanic regalia channeling Lucifer on the Today Show, no less. As in the words of one of the New World Order's chief engineers, former U.S. National Security Advisor Zbigniew Brzezinski, history is much more the product of chaos than conspiracy. For your war stricken, poverty ridden planet. You are safe. Help is on the way. Your prosperity is the core objective of our universal design. The path for humanity has spanned throughout ages to ensure the survival and prosperity of the human species. War is a liar who claims there isn't enough land, isn't enough wealth, isn't enough food for all people in all places to live in abundance. A different age is upon us. Fear not for the bursting sounds that echo across your red horizons. Prepare your life for the light that grows steadily brighter in the distance. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator.
politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. Illuminati. You come to take control. You can take my heartbeat. But you can break my soul. We are Well educated people, capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. Your eyes, wake the fuck up, America. He yeah. can control your lives with fear. Just scaring you with terror on your screen. Telling you what to believe. But who benefits from panic, hunger, and greed? That's how they feed upon the masses like a fucking disease.